This is a Vantum gaming chair from Herman Miller and Logitech Gaming. It's a chair that's designed to be very comfortable so you can game all day long and when you need to switch it up for work, it's good to go as well. This is the box that it comes in and unlike the usual Herman Miller chairs, I have to embody non-Logitech gaming version from my home office by the way. This comes half assembled. So all you have to do is get all the content out of the box and pop them into place. So place the main body into the wheel or the bottom half and also place the headrest or the neck rest as well. The main body is very solid and looks great in this red colorway, but it also comes in other colors as well. The white one might be my favorite one, but this will do as well. I kind of like this red. Red is my favorite color. Herman Miller is known for his premium gut tier chairs, meaning they are very expensive, very good for your back and they last forever with loads of warranty to go with it. After all, you're paying around $795 for this Logitech gaming version here and my Embody version that I use in my home office was around £1,500 when I got it a few years ago. In terms of the material used here, you have an elastomer and polyester suspension backrest. You got a polyurethane foam headrest and seat cushion topped with 100% post-consumer recycled polyester fabric. You got glass filled nylon frame and base and a flexible polyurethane integral skin foam arm pads. The elbow pads are nice and comfortable and supports your elbow. Uh, it depends on your weight, so you support your weight nicely. And overall material is very comfortable unless you sit on it naked, then you might have to worry about how it feels on your skin. It might feel a bit rough. The backbone is also uh, plastic, but that doesn't take away from its premium quality and the way it performs. For the controls, the left side has control for a fixed backrest position with numbers in case someone changes it when you leave. And the right side controls the tension with numbers and height adjustment as well. The right side also has the seat slider, which determines how close your legs are to the seats or back to the backrest. The right side overrides the left side for backrest positioning. So I prefer to use this uh, one side set to around six and the tension side set to around seven to support my weight naturally. It also has a lumbar support scroll, which doesn't do much in my opinion, and it just keeps scrolling too. So when you scroll it, it just keeps going and it doesn't stop. It would be nice if that stopped once it's reached its limit and maybe had a number system as well, like the other uh, other support system there. Another bonus over my embodied chair is that we have a neck support here. When installing it, it's very stiff and I almost broke it when I'm applying some pressure to get it into position. The headrest or neck supports itself swivels, so you get your neck in the right position in, and even that broke as well the first time I was adjusting it to see how far it goes. But luckily you can easily pop it back into place and it's easily fixable, there's no problems there. What I do love here though is that even though it's stiff, it means that it won't move freely, there's no play there at all. So actually using it it's and you set it to your preferred position, it just sticks to the place that you want it to be. I also like that you can adjust uh, the headrest easily without touching it. You can use your shoulders because it supports your shoulders as well and you can use your neck to support or change its position. The whole chair doesn't lay completely flat but I'm okay with that. That's not a problem at all. I don't really sit in that position anyway. Overall, this screams premium quality. You get what you pay for. It's easy to install and it's not that heavy as well that I carried it up myself up two flights of stairs although I wouldn't advise you to do that at all. Overall, it's so comfortable and it looks fantastic. Well, I'd say well done to Logitech Gaming and Herman Miller for this chair. It's going to become one of my favorite ones from them so far in terms of the design besides it and body. Over to you though, what do you think? Let me know in the comments below. And if you have any questions, drop them there as well. I'll do my best to answer your questions. All links will be in the description area, so do check it out if you want to find out more. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.